Hi everyone, in the previous video I have shown you how to install Hurudha in Mac or Ubuntu using the terminal commands. So in this video, I will be showing you how to install Hurudha using the shell script that is you just had to run a single script and Hurudha will be installed in your system. So let's get into it. So let's see how we can install Hurudha using the script command. So for that, open up your browser, go to hurudha.com and click on the documentation icon here. Once you enter the documentation, just click on the option, uh, I mean, menu, installation using shell. So once you're there, uh, depending on your OS, if it's Windows, you can click the link here to download the Mac file. And if it's Ubuntu or Mac, you can just, if it's Ubuntu, you can click here for downloading the SH file. And if it's Mac, you can just use the link here to download the SH file. So as my current system is Mac, I'll use the link here to download the SH file. So I'm clicking here. You can see that the uh, SS file is downloaded here and open it. Once this is unzipped, you just uh, take the terminal. Once you're in the terminal, just change the directory to which the SS file has been downloaded. So just see the downloads. So once you're in the directory, you just change uh, the permission file for the SH file. So if it is open to, you just add the command as chmode plus x hurlap underscore install underscore ubuntu.sh and if it's mac just add the command as chmode plus x hurla underscore install underscore macos.sh so currently as my system is mac i'll just use this command here now paste and enter so now the permission for the sh file is changed so once you are done that you just have to run the sh file so for that use the command dot slash hurla underscore install underscore ubuntu dot sh if it's the OS is ubuntu or dot slash furla underscore install underscore mac os dot sh if it's mac so i'll just copy the command here come to the terminal and run press enter so now you can see that the command is being executed so currently it's being it's asking my sudo password i'll just enter the sudo password and enter press enter we just follow the uh, prompts shown in the terminal and everything will be set up. So the uh, Django is installed. Virtual environment is installed. Now it's asking for my pseudo password again. I'll just enter it. Uh, the virtual environment is installed, created, and now the uh, repo is being cloned. After the repo is cloned, it's installing the Python dependencies right now. Once all the Python dependencies are installed, you will be asked to create the. Uh, you will be asked to set up the database right now, and once the database is set up, you will be asked to create the admin user. So yeah, so just enter your first name, your last name, the username. I'll just type in as admin admin. Enter your email. I'll just type in at nicklet. Enter the phone number, and press enter. So now you can see that an employee is created and automatically uh, the Hurla server is started. So just copy the address here. Just control C. I'll just open up a new tab and paste it here. So now you can see that the Hurla app has been started. So you just enter your username, password and click on secure login. So this is how we install the uh, Hurla using the shell script in both Ubuntu and Mac you can use the same commands here just have to change the file name that's all so let's say uh, if you want to stop the server you just uh, press ctrl c and the server will be stopped so let's say if you want the server to run again you just now change the directory to Horilla and once you are in the Horilla directory just type in the command python3 manage.py run server and that's all your server will be started so I hope you understood the video. Thank you.